Hello, all. Welcome to Studio Bound Pilates. Today it is, what is today? Uh, July 7th. Um, as always, please take care of yourself. Today is a half hour mat roller balance class. Um, I'll provide some options and variations that hopefully work for you. If they don't, please them to the side, bring in your own favorite options or variations. If that doesn't work, take a break, take a stretch. Do a, a different movement, maybe even outside the family of exercises I'm offering up. So we're going to get started standing. I'm just going to make sure that you can see my feet for the most part. Um, I have my roller here just so that I can grab it. We won't be needing it for this first part. Yeah. Uh, so nothing unusual here. Uh, Suzanne, I'm just going to ask you if you can mute because I don't think I muted everyone. Maybe I should do that. Sorry, guys. Let me just also do my job on my end. <laughs> I'm like, what? Why can I hear stuff? It's all good. All right. So I am taking care of that. All right. So we'll get started standing. It's like I've never held a Zoom class before. All right, so dysfunctional parallel position with the feet and the legs. Side bones distance apart, or sorry, um, sits bones distance apart, right? So nothing too wide, nothing too narrow, something comfortable, ears, shoulders, hips, knees, ankles in a relative alignment, something that you can stand comfortably and upright and tall. All you're gonna do here, just inhale the shoulders up to the ears, shoulders shrug, exhale, slide the shoulder blades on the back of the body. Inhale the shoulders up, and then exhale, slide them down. Inhale the shoulders up. And exhale, slide them down. Inhale, the shoulders up. Exhale, slide them down. Shoulder rolls, round the shoulders back up, round them forward. Back up, round them forward. Back up, round them forward. Last one, back up, round them forward. Keep the arms long, swing the arms back up and forward. Back up and forward. Any circle amount for you, back up and forward. Circle amount meaning the size of the circle that works for you. Yeah. One more time. And then just drop the arms down very side. Let's reverse the shoulder circle. So keep the arms out of it. Shoulders come forward, up and around to the back. Forward, up and around to the back. Forward, up and around to the back. Last one, forward, up and around to the back. Now keep the arms long, swing the arms forward, up, back and around. Forward, back, up and around. Forward, back, up and around. Again, any size that works for you. And then just drop the arms down both side. So moving on to the legs now, still keeping that functional parallel position relatively and just bend the knees and straighten. So just trying to drop the pelvis down towards the ground instead of tucking under or overly arcing back. So just getting some, they're not gonna be very big. So I usually turn them shallow knee bends. It's fine, we'll get bigger ones um, near the end of this class. I encourage you to find equal weight to both feet. I like to stand on my right foot. So I'm really trying to stand them to my left as I do this. And then one more time, All right? Uh, I'm gonna do this, uh, hands on the hips, and you're gonna keep your legs long. You might have a softness to the knees, but just see if you can do a flat back forward, any amount, it might be a slight diagonal. You can go to a tabletop, that's great, shooting the crown of the head this, uh, towards the wall in front of you and the booty back behind you and come all the way up. Just three more times, flat back forward and up, flat back forward. And uh, try to keep the head in line with spine. It's tempting to tilt your chin up. So keep the gaze at the floor when you get that flat back. Come all the way up. Go ahead and tee your arms up inside, palms face down. It's going to rotate the palms up and rotate the palms down. This will come, I believe, if we have time, we're going to um, find this kind of rotational arm positioning. Great for what we do for the saw. Yeah. So just trying to get that rotation in there before we explore that later on. Yeah. And again, that rotation is going to be any amount that works for you. We are going to do some um, rotation and side bending as well. So I just drop the arms down to the side. So I'm going to encourage you to either cross one hand over the other, like, or sorry, one arm over the other, two opposite shoulders, or hands behind the skull. So you might find that one works better for you. I've just been uh, cautioning you not to pull in the head if your hands are behind the skull. From here, functional parallel position without moving your hips, hopefully just twist to the right and center, twist to the left, and center, pause. Then you're gonna side bend to the right, and up, side bend to the left, and up. Let's do that again, let's start to the left though. Side bend to the left, center, side bend to the right, and center, or sorry, that was rotation. <laughs> now we're gonna side bend to the left, and up, side bend to the right, and up. So now I'm gonna add a knee bend to this. So again, this hands, the hands can go here. So you're gonna knee bend, and as you stand up, twist to the right and center, so, uh, knee bend, and then you're gonna twist to the left, and center, knee bend, side bend to the right, and center, knee bend, side bend to the left, 
and center knee bend, twist to the left, and center knee bend, twist to the right, and center knee bend, side bend to the left, and up, knee bend, side bend to the right, and up. Okay, and just relax. So we'll be doing that later on. It'll be a bigger movement um, in both the knee bending and Maybe not the twisting of the side bend. Just know there'll be a bigger expression. So let's find um, the mat. Will drag. I'm going to drag mine back. Your mat will probably already be set up. I'm going to send or place the ruler in the center. Let me dip my camera angle down so you can see the full mat. There we go. All right. And so you're going to find yourself onto that roller, tailbone, head fully supported. Knees bend, feet flat. Arms just down by your side. Let's find a little quick scan of just some alignment here for a moment. So just thinking about the thigh bones pointing straight at the hip sockets, heels in line with the sit bones, functional parallel position with the feet and the legs, feet pointing straight ahead. And then from here, can you find the center back of the pelvis? Center back of the tailbone being connected to the roller. And also think about back bottom to ribs connect to the roller as well. So we're just trying to establish a relative neutral spine, neutral pelvis without flattening or overly arcing. And then can you find a weight into the feet, big toe, pinky toe, heel connection with each foot. Weight into the hands, you'd probably just take inventory. You're not trying to change anything. We've done enough form movement, I think, to get as open as we can. So the weight might be to the thumb, pinky, or center of the palm. You know, might also note that one side is weighted differently than the other. Just take note. Yeah. Then find the weight to the center back of the skull so the chin isn't pointing down towards the chest too much nor up to the ceiling. Again, we're just trying to create this natural curve the back of the neck in a relative way. And then once you've gotten all those points scanned, can you just relax your throat, forehead, jaw, and shoulders the best you can? Yeah. And then from here, just take a deep inhale and exhale, float both arms up towards the ceiling, rotate your palms to face inward, and then on the inhale, you know, lift your fingertips up towards the ceiling, lift the shoulder blades up and away from that, exhale up and right back down. And again, inhale the fingertips up, exhale up and back down, two more times, inhale the fingertips up, exhale up and back down, one more time, inhale the fingertips up, exhale up and back down, the pause. You know, open up this right arm, open to the side, inhale the arm right back up, notice the weight distribution changes here a little bit, left arm opens up, Inhale back up, right arm opens up side. The arm becomes parallel to the ground, does not touch the ground. Inhale that arm right back up and then left arm opens up. Inhale back up, now pause, both arms open up. This will come in handy soon. Inhale the arms right back up. Exhale both arms open to the side. Inhale back up, two more times please. Exhale both arms open. Inhale up and last one, exhale both arms open. Inhale up, pause here, rotate your palms to face forward. On the exhale, you're going to send this right arm back behind you, keep the ribs dropped down. And that's any amount for you. Inhale, left arm right back up, exhale, left arm reaches back. Inhale up, exhale, right arm reaches back. Inhale up, exhale, left arm reaches back. Inhale up, you'll pause now, exhale, both arms reach back. Inhale, the arms right back up, exhale, both arms back. The ribs drop down two more times. Inhale the arms back up. Exhale reaching both arms back. Inhale up. Last one here. Exhale reaching both arms back. And then inhale the arms right back up. Pause. And then arms come forward and down onto the mat. So we are going to move on to the legs now. If you like, you can connect your elbows to the mat and put the forearms off the mat. Not everyone has the ability to do this. Sometimes it's length of the arms. Sometimes it just doesn't feel stable. So if you need to place your arms or hands back down, feel free. It's up to you. Okay, deep inhale in here. Exhale, flip the right leg to tabletop. Standing strong to that left foot. Inner thigh works here. Inhale to hold. Exhale, place the foot back down. Inhale and exhale, left leg close up. Standing strong to that right foot. Right in the thigh working. Inhale to hold. And then exhale, place the foot back down. Inhale in here. Exhale, right leg close up. Inhale to hold. And exhale, place the foot back down. Inhale in here. Exhale, left leg close up. Inhale to hold, exhale, place the foot back down. Now take a deep inhale in here, exhale, draw the right leg to tabletop, leave the leg there. Inhale in here, exhale, left leg close up to reach the right leg. So both legs are up, jump to point the feet. On the exhale, right toe reaches down toward the mat, hinging from your thigh, try not to bend the knee anymore. Inhale that leg right back up. Exhale, left toe taps down, scoop the belly in. Inhale back up. Exhale, right toe taps. Inhale up, and then exhale, left toe taps. Inhale up, now pause here, flex your feet. 
And I'm going to try to heel tap down, right heel taps down. If you need to stay with pointed feet, feel free. Bring the leg right back up, left heel taps down. And hold up. That's a right heel taps down. And hold up. Last one, left heel taps down. And hold back up. Pause. Keep the feet flexed. And extend both legs up towards the ceiling any amount, reaching the heels towards the sky. Bring the legs back to tabletop. Exhale, extend both legs up. Bring it back to tabletop. Exhale, extend both legs up. And back to tabletop. Exhale, both legs up. Back to tabletop. Exhale, both legs up. Back to tabletop. Next one, I'm going to hold. Exhale, both legs up. Can you pause for a moment? Keep reaching those heels strongly up towards the sky. Bring the legs back to tabletop. Right foot back down first, follow up on the left. Arms come back down if they were up. Just shake anything up that you might need to here. You find yourself back to the center of the roller. Interlace your fingers, place the palms behind the skull, point the elbows slightly forward. Take a deep inhale in here, exhale, nod the head, round spine up, abdominal curl, looking towards your belly, knees or thighs. Yeah. Inhale to hold, exhale coming right back down. Inhale and exhale again, nod the head, round spine up, abdominal curl. Inhale to hold, exhale coming back down. Inhale and exhale again, nod the head, round spine up, abdominal curl. Inhale to hold, exhale coming back down. Inhale in here, exhale, nod the head, run the spine up, abdominal curl. Inhale to hold, exhale, coming right back down. Now take a deep inhale in here, exhale, nod the head, run the spine up, abdominal curl to pause. Take a deep inhale, exhale, turn the torso towards the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, turn the torso towards the left. Yeah. Inhale, center. Turn the torso towards the right. And center, turn the torso towards the left. And so to pause here, round up one more inch and come all the way back down. Keep the hands behind the skull, take a deep inhale in. Exhale, nod the head around the spine up, abdominal curl. Release the right arm, cross over the left side of the body. Eight pulses through. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One hand being on the skull, left hand releases over to the right. You got eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one hand being on the skull. Come back to the center, release both hands over the knees, so diagonally. With those arms, pulse it up for eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hand behind the skulls again, hands behind the skull, roll up one more inch and then come all the way back down. Right. And again, you can release whatever you need to release for a moment. And then float both arms up towards the ceiling. Today, let's have the palms face inward. We are going to move on to mount. Remember, it could be a heel lift, you can do a couple toe taps if that's what you need. You'll take a deep inhale in here. Exhale, draw this right leg to a tabletop position. Maybe. Yeah, that maybe was for me. Yeah. <laughs> inhale to hold. Exhale, place the foot back down. I was like, I don't know if that's going to come up today. Exhale, left leg floats up, standing strong as best you can to really press down to that right foot and place the foot back down. All right. So now you're going to send that right leg back to tabletop. Can you hold it there for a moment? Open up both arms to the side. Bring the arms right back up. Can you do that for me one more time? Both arms open. Oof. And back up. Pause and place the foot back down. Left leg floats up. Open up both arms. And it can be any amount. It doesn't have to be all the way to the side. Bring it right back up. You find where you can open up the arms. And then you just bring it right back to start. Place the foot back down. All right. You can stick with that or anything else that you hope find that works for you. Otherwise, if you're ready, right leg close to tabletop. Now you're going to send that right leg directly forward as both arms open to the side. Everybody comes back to starting. Both arms open up to the side, leg drifts forward. Everything back up, back to starting. Pause, place that right foot back down, thank God. All right, left leg close up. I'm going to send the left leg forward, both arms open up to the side. Standing strong, come back in. Oh, that was a little bit precarious for me. Both arms open, leg drifts forward. Bring everything back to starting and then place the foot back down. Arms can come forward and down onto the mat for your side. All right, from here, take a deep inhale and exhale. I just want you to sink the belly, tilt the feet up and put the lower back towards the roller any amount. So your lower back may connect to the roller. It might get close. It might be super far away. We're just trying to find a curl here. Inhale and exhale, release it back down to neutral. Let's do that one more time like that. Inhale in here, exhale again, sink the belly. Tilt the feet up on any amount. Imprint the spine any amount. Try not to use your glutes or quads yet. Inhale in here, exhale, release it back down. Now we are going to go for this little bridge. We deep inhale in here, exhale again, sink the belly to the feet bone, engage your glutes, float your pelvis up and away from the roller, and then come all the way back down, re establish back to neutral. Deep inhale in here, exhale again, sink, imprint, curl, press down those feet, float the hips up. Inhale in here, exhale, coming right back down. 
finding that ritual again. Deep inhale in here, exhale again, sink, curl, pulling yourself up. Yep. Inhale in here, exhale, coming right back down. Finding your chill, pause, go ahead and rock back and forth on the roller. Head goes one way, hips go the other way. So as you rock back and forth here, you can keep this where the hands and feet are now, but you can also open up your hands and feet a little bit wider so you get a little bit more back body release. To get to the biggest surface area, you can lift one leg up, one arm up, the way that you're rolling away from or the way that you're looking towards, look at the full surface, the back body. A lot of shoulder blade, side of the booty or glutes. Could feel good. Again, you're gonna find the size and amount that you want. Find yourself back to that center line and then you're gonna roll off to one side, but really using your arms and legs to help you come onto the mat. Similar roller to the side, just for a moment. Don't let it get too far away from you. I'm gonna give you a moment to hug the knees into your chest. Yeah. And that could be one knee in, one leg out. Again, you can find a release that works best for you today. Constructive rest, little butterfly. All right. So you're going to find your roller back into your hands. We'll do this perpendicular grip. So we're going to the outside of the roller, pull the arms up toward the ceiling. Go ahead and imprint your spine. Right knee in, followed by the left knee. Deep inhale in here, exhale round up to your abdominal curl. Keep the right knee there, send the left leg out long. Inhale in here, going to switch sides. Inhale, switching sides, exhale and exhale. Inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale, in, in. Exhale, exhale, and in. Exhale, exhale, both knees in. Roll yourself down, look right, look left. All right. For all these abdominals, you try to keep that abdominal curl constant, right? So we're trying not to roll back any amount. So we might need to adjust as we get a little fatigued. It happens to all of us. So let the arms up to the ceiling. Right into the chest, follow the left knee, back is in front of your exhale, round up to your bum curl. Now you're going to extend both legs up from the ceiling, turn the legs out so the legs are now externally rotated. You're going to drop the legs a little or a lot, depending where you can go, inhale right back up. So it could just be a little quarter of an inch, going back up, it could be a little bit bigger, depends on where you can go. Exhale drop, inhale up, try not to roll down, exhale drop, inhale to roll up, scoop the belly, exhale drop, inhale up, last one, exhale drop, inhale up, pause. Roll up two more inches, round yourself down, bend the knees in, look right, look left. All right, let me answer the ruler again, back imprints. Right knee into the chest, follow the left knee. Deep inhale in here, exhale round up, up double curl, keep the right knee there, send the left leg up long, take the left armpit, draw towards right knee, inhale in here, and switch sides, armpit towards the knee, inhale, switch your sides, exhale, exhale. Inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale. Inhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, and exhale, exhale, and in. X, X, switch sides once. Hold here for the inhale, hold for the exhale, hold for the inhale, hold for the exhale, switch to these sides. Inhale, hold, exhale, hold, inhale, hold, exhale, switch. Inhale, hold, exhale, hold, inhale, hold, exhale, switch. Inhale, hold, exhale, hold, inhale, hold, exhale. Hug those knees in, roll yourself down. And again, you can look right, look left. Give you a moment to release. We are going to move on to full bridges. So you have your choice of using the roller. If you choose to use the roller, you're going to place it underneath the triangle of your legs, the feet flat on the mat and down. If you choose not to use the roller, just ditch it to the side. It's fine. If you're going to use the roller, this is a good time to place your arches and feet onto that roller. Everyone's choice is to keep the arms down by your side or put the arms up toward the ceiling. Arms down by your side give you the biggest space of support, arms filling up. Takes that face to support away, makes it a little bit, possibly a little bit more challenging. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna take a deep inhale in here. Exhale, you're gonna see the belly, curl the tailbone, float your stuff up to your bridge. So either it's gonna roll up or flat back up. It's a choice for you, what works best for your body. Inhale in here, exhale, coming back down. Find the pathway, center line of the body the best you can. Deep inhale in here, exhale, scoop, curl, float your stuff up. Turning equally to both feet the best you can, yeah? Inhale in here, exhale, coming right back down. Now I have to tell myself to really stand onto that left foot because I really just want to stand on that right. Inhale in here, exhale again, scoop, curl, float yourself up. Put my left foot in there. Inhale in here, exhale, coming back down. Mm -hmm. Next one we hold, take a deep inhale in here, exhale, scoop, curl, float yourself up. Pause, I'm going to come down one or two inches, eight moderate pulses up from the glutes, and eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, 
two, one, pause, hold it here, right leg floats to tabletop, place the foot back down, gently. Left leg floats up, inhale back down. Right leg floats up, inhale back down. Left leg floats up, inhale back down. Right leg floats, inhale down. Exhale, left leg floats, inhale down. Pause here, hold the hips up a little bit higher and then come all the way down. From here, lengthen out your legs once. Yeah, then pull that roller back or move your feet back. And again, so we're gonna take a deep inhale in here, exhale, scoop your belly, curl the tail, and pull yourself up, find your bridge. Now, put the right leg to tabletop, extend the right leg up, pause, so bring it back to tabletop, foot goes back down. Left leg tabletop, extend the leg, back to tabletop, foot goes back down. Right leg tabletop, extend. Leg back to tabletop, foot back down. Left leg tabletop, extend it, bring it back to tabletop, place the foot back down, here we go. Right leg tabletop, extend the leg. Now pause, pause for the left loop for eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause, leg back to tabletop, foot goes back down, put the hips up higher. Left leg tabletop, extend that left leg up. Right glute pulses up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause, bring the leg back to tabletop, foot goes back down, put the hips up a little bit higher. Come all the way down. Lengthen up the legs, what? Internal, external rotation might feel good here. So rocking your rolling your calves out. Maybe just full collapse. Maybe you're gonna do the back legs or the hamstrings. Maybe it's a combination of all of that, yeah? All right, so we have one transition. So you're gonna take this ruler and you're gonna place it between the knees and the feet. So legs to tabletop. And I push the roller forward so I don't knock my chest out, and my torso out. I'm holding the roller between my knees and my feet, hands behind the thighs. Deep inhale in here, exhale, nod the head. Roll yourself up. Oh, yeah. Find that balance point, release the arms if possible. Take the roller, place it to the side if possible. Hold here. One foot down, other foot down. Move out one leg, other leg, flex the feet. Reach your arms up, flat back over. Then round over when you need, putting the sole of the feet, yoga toe lock, ankles, shins, thighs, hands to the outside of the thighs under the floor, perhaps. And sit up nice and tall. Okay. So we're gonna eventually do this with a roller. So have it close, but hopefully out of your way. I'm gonna be diagonally oriented here. So you're gonna open up your legs, long legs out in front to at least the width of your shoulders, right? So I don't want a full straddle, that's not the point here. So a moderate opening of the legs, feet flexed, uh, toes pointed up toward the ceiling. You can soften the knees here if you need to, and maybe even come to the edge of the mat or pull the mat up if you need a little bit of support for sitting posture. Now you're gonna open up your arm to the side and do a short set of this. You're gonna twist to one side, I'll leave that up to you. So the arm that's forward, that pinky's gonna reach for the pinky toe of the opposite leg. The arm that's behind, away from that foot is gonna reach back, palm facing up, come back to center. I'm gonna twist the other side, that arm is reaching forward, reaches for the pinky, other arm reaches back, palm faces up, like you're diving forward and coming up. Now I'm gonna twist again to the original side, pinky towards pinky, arm reaches back, now pulse three times, reach toward that pinky, one, two, three, coming right back up, this is a soft, twist the other side, I'm gonna reach for the pinky, arm reaches back, palm faces up, and then pulse, one, two, Three, come all the way back up, shake out the legs. All right, so now I'm gonna place the roller on the shins of the lower legs. With the roller, you may not be able to go as far, that's fine, but at some point we're gonna to have to keep one arm on the roller when we switch the other side. So take your twist towards that opposite foot with the pinky, other arm reaches back, you're gonna reach, you're gonna go ahead and pulse. One, two, so we keep that arm there, come up to stacking, other arm crosses on top of the other arm. Release the other arm back behind you, palm faces up. Reach for the pinky. One, two, three, all the way up. Cross the other arm over, get contact to that roller. Release the other arm behind you, palm faces up. And one, two, three, stacking up. Cross the arm, make contact, release the other arm. Palm faces up and reach. One, two, three and all the way up and shake out those arms and legs. All right, so we're gonna transition onto the belly. Couple things here. So we're gonna do just our traditional, what we usually do, 
uh, center of the forearm on the roller with you some extension. And then I'm gonna ask you to place your hands either at your forehead, one hand can cross over the other, or to the side of the forehead. Let's not place the hands behind the skull today. Um, and when we get to that point, right now on your belly, center of the forearms on the roller legs behind you. The forehead down with the mountain as long as that feels okay for you and your neck. You can also flip the head in line with the spine to find a more comfortable position. Position of the legs can be in parallel, turn out together or separated. I go for a little separation and turn out here. We got four of these only. Take a deep inhale and exhale, pull the roller towards you, flip the head and upper spine up. Bump, bottom rows remain connected to the mat. Inhale in here, exhale, coming right back down. Just three more of these. Exhale, pull that roller towards you, flip the head and upper spine up. Mm -hmm. And then come all the way back down. And again, pull that roller towards you, flip the head and upper spine up. And back down. Last one here, pull that roller towards you, flip the head and upper spine up. Mm -hmm. And then back down. So from here, I'm gonna have us just let that roller go. That's all we're gonna use it today. Um, and now you can place your hands one hand over the other, forehand the cross hands like a pillow, that works for you. You can also just bring your hands to the side of your temples. I am gonna ask you to lift up your arms, um, but try not to press too hard into your forehead if your hands are underneath your forehead. So again, leg position is your choice. Deep inhale in here, exhale, I want you to put the head and upper spine up. So if the hands are to the front of the skull, just lift everything up, hands to the side, you just come up and down, and then come all the way down. Do that again, put the head and upper spine up, and down, now pause. Keep the head where it is and just flip the lower legs up and then down. Keep the head where it is, so don't lift it up. Torso stays down, just lift the legs up and down. So now we're gonna combine that. So you're gonna lift head and upper spine up first. Head and upper spine come down, legs float up. Legs float down, head and upper spine up. Head and upper spine come down, legs float up. Legs go down, head and upper spine up. Head and upper spine come down, legs float up. Last one here, legs go down, head and upper spine float up. Head and upper spine come down, legs float up. Keep the head down, legs drift back down. And if your hands aren't already crossed one over the other, place the hands in that layered position. If your hands are already crossed, take the bottom hand and bring it to the top just to get a different position in there. And then just go ahead and put both legs off the mat. Real quick, we're just gonna swim the legs from the glutes and the thighs and swim and swim and swim and swim and swim and swim and swim. And swim, and swim, and swim, and swim, and swim. Relax the legs back down, rock your pelvis back and forth. From here, you're gonna go ahead and press yourself into a child's pose. Toes together, knees apart. Could also be a cat pose if that works better for you. Find a rest position that works. All right, and then take a deep inhale in here. Actually gonna roll up to the base of the spine, one vertebra at a time. That's gonna be a last to arrive, and then you work yourself up to standing. All right, so I think this would be a good angle. Let me check it out. Might lift it up a little bit. So we're gonna go for our squats. We do five. And today I'm gonna to, um, encourage us to do a turned out wide squat, not to your fullest wide stance, but something wide that you get a pretty good range of motion. Again, hands to here, right hands behind the skull. And you know, I know that a lot of times we've been reaching the arms forward. So if you go back to that, that's fine. Uh, but when we do the second variations and third variations, you're gonna wanna do one of these positions here. So hands behind the skull, if you like, or hands to the chest. Deep inhale in here, we got five. You're gonna squat down, knees track over the second, third toes and stand all the way back up. There might be a little hip hinge here too. Here's two and up. Here's three and up. Here's four and up. Here's five and up, shake it out. So just a little uh, explanation of what's gonna happen. So wherever your hands are, they stay there. You're gonna squat down and then you're gonna lift one leg up and then you'll twist to that side and place it back down. We'll squat, we'll alternate. Squat and then we're gonna do a side bend, knee towards elbow, squat, knee towards elbow. I might throw in a bounce there. So we're already balancing enough by lifting the leg up and placing it down, but here we go. So find that stance that works for you hands where you like them. We're gonna go ahead and squat down. As you stand up, let's lift that right leg up, twist to the right, place it back down. Squat, stand up, twist to the left, left leg up and back down. I did a little bit of lean there. Squat, now we're gonna do a side bend to the right, leg up. Squat, side bend to the left, 
and down. Squat, we change it, left leg goes up, twist to the left, and down. Squat, twist to the right, right leg goes up, and down. Squat, side bend to the left, and down. Squat, side bend to the right, and down. Squat, you're gonna twist to the right, right leg comes up, can you pause and hold? Ooh. I'm catching it and place it back down. You're gonna squat, you're gonna twist to the left and hold. Woo. Place it back, back down. My balance is off today. Squat and a side bend. Can you hold it for a moment? And back down. Squat and then side bend. Woo. And place it back down. Shake it out. <laughs> oh my God. You can never predict balance. All right. So I'm gonna tilt this down. We're gonna do a quick plank. Yeah. I'm gonna uh, encourage us to do full straight arm plank. That doesn't work for everyone. You can certainly go to a forearm plank. I'm gonna do some choreography for the legs or options for the legs. So your range of motion might need to be different there. It's fine. All right. Functional parallel position. You're gonna stand to the end of your mat and reach the arms up. You'll drive yourself forward. You can keep your legs long. You might bend your knees a little bit or you might bend the knees a lot. Whatever you need to get those hands down to the ground, walk yourself forward. All right. Let's do two pikes up here. So you're gonna pike the hips up and forward. Pike the hips up and forward. Now I'm gonna pike the hips up, right leg floats up and then back down. Left leg floats up as you pike, back down. Now right leg pikes up. Now as you come back to your plank, draw the right knee to the chest and send it back up as you pike. Right knee towards right elbow and back. Right knee towards left elbow and back, come back down, find your plank. As you pike, left leg goes up, left knee to the chest, and send it back and up. Left knee towards left elbow, and send it back and up. Left knee towards right elbow, send it back and up. Place the foot back down, find your plank, hold here. Five, four, three, two, one. Gently place those knees down. Child's pose, cat pose. Seated pose, whatever works best for you. Deep inhale in here, exhale, walk the hands over to the right. Allowing the left side of the waist and the ribs to open up. Walk the hands back to the center. Walk the hands over to the left, opening up right to the waist, right to the ribs, breathe there. Walk the hands back to the center. Now open up your arms here a little bit wider. If you're in child's pose, as you press your hands to the floor, your booty will reach down towards your heels. If you're in cat pose, lower and upper spine will reach up towards the ceiling. In any seated pose, you'll just rock behind your sit bones a little bit. Deep inhale in here, exhale, walk the hands back towards you as you roll yourself up to an upright torso positioning. Sitting onto your heels or standing on your knees, whatever works for you, maybe coming all the way to standing. Find what works. Drop the arms down by your side, nice and tall with your torso. Inhale to the sides and the backs of the ribs. Exhale, screw the belly, draw the navel up and in. Inhale to the sides and the back. Exhale, scoop the belly up and in, elongate the spine to the crown of the head to the ceiling. Next, inhale, shrug the shoulders up the ears. In a natural gentle way, as you exhale, allow the shoulders just to drift away. Scoop the belly in, nice tall posture, shoot the crown of the head to the ceiling. If you're ready, you might already be there, coming onto your knees, curl the toes under. Bring whatever leg forward. I think I brought my left leg forward <laughs> on Wednesday. So hands can go to the thigh, maybe to a wall, roller, chair, another prop of spine or drop the arms down very side. You're gonna send weight into this front foot, lean slightly forward, stand all the way up, bring the other foot next to it, stand nice and tall. Try not to lock into the joints, find a tall posture without too much tension. Inhale the sides and the backs of the ribs. Exhale, scoop the belly, elongate the spine, being tall, but not too tense. Good luck, right? <laughs> right. All right, very good, you guys. Good job, excellent work. I wanna, with my broken glasses, stop the recording.